Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Igo Ra and welcome to Let's Araxium, the show where I wave my planet's ID dick around for the entire internet to see. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Lacerda, which in Latin means lizard. This is undeniable proof that the reptilian conspiracy is real and they're getting bolder about their presence here on Earth. I'll be going over some tips and tricks on how you can best please your new reptilian overlords and if you put in a lot of hard work and if you get real lucky you might just get to be one of the pets that they let out of the cages yay good job lucky you gee what else we got going on in this video um oh i'm gonna be dropping my new outfit diss track cik go away start some channel drama that'll be good right uh what else oh i got like three real spicy pulsar c memes lined up you're gonna love that and, uh, oh, I'm gonna show you how to exterminate an entire tribe of goblins in one simple trick. There's a lot to cover here, so let's take a look at the stats. But first, this. Oh, no, 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 no! Starting off with a fire rate of 566 beep, 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 per second and a damage model of 167 damage up to 10 meters dropping off to 125 damage at nitty meters with a velocity of 500 meters per second. Did, did I seriously misspell 90 that bad? Oh my god I did. My brain is hell sometimes. Is kink shaming your kink? Well have I got the gun for you. With its unique fire rate of 566 rounds per minute, that is also not its actual rate of fire, extremely low velocity for an assault rifle, limitations to a three round burst mode, micro penis, and an odd assortment of attachments ribbed for your pleasure, the Lacerda has no shortage of kinky Vanu paraphernalia. Next is a reload speed of 1.95 5 seconds short and 2.4 seconds long with a magazine size of 33 rounds because apparently 30 was just not good enough for it. It's also worth mentioning that the Lacerda gets 51 more rounds of reserve ammunition than other 167 damage assault rifles. Weird satanic numbers, piercings, a thick reserve of ammo, and a daddy's girl tramp stamp. By Vanu, they have done it. They have finally managed to weaponize a big titty goth GF. Taking a look at the recoil and, uh, well... You know, I would much rather put my porn folder on screen right now because it would probably be much easier to explain. Weird gun, top to bottom, bit of a switch if you ask me. We're gonna come back to this recoil later because there's quite an explanation that goes with it. When it comes to my recommendations for attachments, as per usual, I think sights are a matter of preference, but I found the 2X and the 3.4 to be the best go-to options. I always ran with a naked barrel slot and for my opinions on the rest of the attachments good good why meme good weird So that brings us to our final question is the Lacerda worth your time and the answer is <gasps> The preamble of the 1980 Convention on Certain Conventional Weapons provides that the states and parties have based themselves on the principles that prohibit the employment of armed conflicts of weapons, projectiles, and materials, and methods of warfare of the nature of which cause superfluous injury or unnecessary suffering, or as the Lacerda calls it, the Geneva Suggestion. This gun is nuts. Gee, where, where do I start with this weapon? Well, I, I suppose with the nuts. So, this weapon is a very interesting case of needing to know what you're armed with to get the most out of the weapon. It's not to say you can't go in guns blazing at close range with the Lacerda, no, it definitely can handle that. It's not to say you can't pick off people at range with the Lacerda, it's got that covered too. In fact, come to think of it, it might be easier to list the things the Lacerda can't do, like, um, fix your marriage? No, 
No, no, no. A, a gun might be the answer. Yeah, it's got everything. The secret of the power behind the Lacerda is hidden away in its fire rate. If you want to know one of my pet peeves about video games, it's when they don't explain their mechanics or how things work. Do you want to know what the Lacerda has lots of? Stuff that makes RAR very angy. The generic regular stat card provided in-game just is not built to convey certain information about how the Lacerda functions. Technically speaking, a fire rate of 566 rounds per minute is correct. But this rate of fire is achieved by short bursts of significantly higher rate of fire with a forced pause in between the burst. Now, I'm sure that the TR players that are watching this are super confused right now, so the best way I can explain it is like this. It doesn't go burrt, it goes burrt. I. Yeah, sorry, I, I, you're probably still confused. Uh, it's the best I can do. So here, here, let me, let me get you, let me get you some crayons to keep yourself entertained while I finish up the video. Um, here, take this one. I hear it's CIK's favorite flavor. Similar to edging, the stop go, stop go pattern is what makes my balls blue. I mean, makes the Lacerda so great. First pull power isn't something that is particularly prevalent on most weapons unless you're a bolter, in which case go fuck yourself. The first pull of the trigger is all go and no stop, giving you a brief moment where your weapon's damage output will pretty much trump every other weapon out there, unless you're a bolter, in which case go fuck This together with a three round burst of 167 damage, the magic headshot number, gives you the very real potential from switching to taking down targets at range with nice control bursts of fire, then flicking around to the light assault that is flanking you, smoking them with a triple dome shot, and putting their GD7F to shame. Now don't let that sort of sweaty tryhard feature scare you away, it's just one of the many tricks that Lacerda can do. For most players, that level of flawless consistency is not practically obtainable, and it's a much more realistic expectation to start off by getting a little bit ahead on your first burst and then finishing off all over their chest. So long as you're getting the job done in two to three bursts, the Lacerda is offering up some of the best versatility on offer for Vanu assault rifles. This is all fine and dandy, but there are two major flaws the weapon has, the first of which is the most obvious, the velocity. Man, it's low. A long-range exchange with the Lacerda can feel a bit like trying to jumpstart a Hot Wheel. That strong DPS start drops off quickly just after a few bursts. Between damage drop-off, Nano Weave being everywhere, and heavy assaults being even more every er aware er er, sometimes ending a fight quickly just isn't an option. In these types of situations, the Lacerda's effectiveness can drop off incredibly quickly and leave you with what is very low fire rate for very bad velocity and some questionable recoil. And oh boy, the recoil. Um, Let's see here. Explain the Lacerda's recoil or leak my porn folder. Um, You know what? I'm a big boy. Why not both? link in the description down below. Oh, and if you're going down on me there, don't forget to work the like and the sub button because that's what Daddy Rar likes. So the meme about this gun is that it has no recoil and for the most part that is true. Go pick it up in VR training and try to shoot it without moving your mouse at all as fast as you can and the crosshair really won't move. Any recoil it gives you corrects itself after the burst is fired, but man oh man, that first shot recoil multiplier mixed with the amount of variations to the left and right can be a real problem. Most of the time the gun behaves, but sometimes you'll get the harshest angle on the left or right end of the spectrum and end up missing the last shot of the burst. And that's a real problem due to the short time frame that the Lacerda sometimes has to work with in order to make itself an effective gun. Just like the Reptilian Uprising, the Lacerda is a gun that wants to get its fight for domination over with quickly, and I hope they do because quite frankly I feel like we could all benefit from some new management. 
just due to the level of randomness that the recoil has mixed with a massive first shot multiplier every single time that i tried to follow the weapon's recoil and actively try to compensate for it i just did myself dirty i can't believe i'm saying this but the time that i stopped fighting the weapon and let rel take the wheel well he didn't screw me too often i i still can't believe i'm saying it Gee, this video is starting to get really long. Okay, it's time for the rapid fire round. Let's go! Why are you using the laser sight if the horizontal recoil is the biggest issue? The grip doesn't address the issue well enough. It has an impact, just not the one I feel the gun needed. Where's the micro penis? It's just that small. How's the high velocity ammo? Necessary. Is it true that I'm actually a battle rank 8 with no araxiums? Next question. Lashing ammo. Stupid, but actually effective at times? If I'm good at editing, I'll probably put the clip on the screen right now where it was really effective for me. I'm not a good editor. I'm also not good at segues, and that's why my little piece of advice for anyone that wants to Araxium this gun is this. Handling the Lacerda is like sending a dick pic. Timing is everything. 1am, you're drinking in Discord with some friends, the topic of your e-dick comes up and then you loudly proclaim, I can fit four Canadian dollars worth of quarters under my foreskin, and then your friend says you're full of crap, and then that, that right there? That's when you hit him with the old cock and balls. Think of it like a funky battle rifle. Play carefully with her and try to abuse just how much accurate damage you can do in a very short period of time. Rather than trying to win and get your kills in outright damage exchanges, take two quick squirts and then duck back into cover, only to emerge once again if you think you can down the target with your next burst. Or, you know, don't do any of that, because Rar's a smooth brain that only thinks he thinks smart enough to think smart enough to do that. What? Anyways, that's it for this time, guys. My name's Igo Rar. Oh, and for the few of you out there that are curious how the quarter challenge turned out, 325. In my defense, the coins were cold. I'll see you next time.